Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today, what I want to do is I actually want to head over to the lighthouse. I want to see what it's about. I doubt that there's going to be much for me to look at and for you guys to check out, but I guess it's just one of those things that I'm curious about to, and to see what's going on. And also, we do have an event that's popped up. So I want to do both of those today. Check them out. See what that's what it's all about as well and i have done it um, a few times before admittedly but i'm hoping to get some resources that i am wanting to get my hands on so we've got the dead man's chest over here as you can see got about 50 odd minutes there before it actually expires but what we also have over here is the lighthouse so want to check out this lighthouse see what it's all about there is some resources that you can get your hands on there as well there is a metal deposit that you can get your hands on as well. I'm guessing that looks like tin, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I guess we'll find out. I'm not going to sort of grab it. I guess I don't have any of the resources here with me as it is, so it doesn't really matter to me. I just want to sort of check it out and show you guys all the same. So that's pretty much what we're sort of wanting to do today. And unfortunately beyond that, you can't actually go over here because of the blockage that you've got there so once you have cleaned the way first you should be able to head down these parts here and get a few bits and pieces as you can see there's different stone that you can get your hands on different metals different um, bits of wood and the fiber i believe it's all the same but that's pretty much where that's at now doesn't appear that there is any sort of enemy infiltration here so i think we'll be okay heading in but as i said wanted to check it out and hopefully we shall um you know uncover what's here i guess Alrighty, here we are as you can see some resources everywhere which is all well and good oh we do have we do have a little old rascal over here so let's um deal with you Ooh, that's different that's got to be some sort of iron if I can get myself enough resources here, if there's any stone here, that'd be great. I doubt that there's going to be any stone here for me to... Oh, there's that. It'd be nice if there, if there is, to be honest with you. Because at least this way I can check out what's going on with that and see exactly what we actually get out of that. Um, oh, there's two. Um, oh, there's a few of these here. Okay, and there's some palm over here as well, which is always nice. Unfortunately, I don't see any stone, which is ob obviously a pain. We, oh, we got him before. Oh well, he got me. Okay, got some rope, which is great, um, but no stone. Well, that's rather unfortunate. And this leads to the way out. Oh, okay. Actually, you gotta go up this way. There we go. So realistically, there was only two little guards here. Okay, so destroyed lighthouse. If we were to complete it, you need a hundred bamboo boards, which is quite a tall order. Twenty palm logs, not too bad. A hundred iron fasteners. Okay, used for, for crafting fine cloth. Okay, and then you need. 10 of these lighthouse lenses necessary for the large lighthouse mirror and then once you've done that you can essentially finalize it and i'm guessing you'll be able to sort of make your way through into here unfortunately there's i can't really show you too much but you've got that there and that's pretty much it i don't think you can go down this way here doesn't appear that there's any ability for you to do that but <clears throat> this is it i am half interested to try and get any any of this here so I need a simple pickaxe for that which unfortunately I don't have any um, stone with me which is a bit of a disappointment but that doesn't matter I mean it'd be nice if it mag if there's some stone bits mag uh, mag <laughs> magically appearing here man I can't even talk today anyway alrighty so who yeah that's, I think that's it I think that's gonna go ahead and do it we won't need to worry about anything in here so we're going to leave this place here. But so you guys are aware what's going on. 
Alrighty, let's go back into the map over here and let's head on over to the dead man's chest. So, ooh, that was quick. Okay, I was expecting that to be a bit of a journey. I think Westland does that as well, so all under the same gaming mechanic as you guys would be well aware. But so far, I'm actually really, really enjoying my time playing this game. It's actually been a really, really good game to muck about with and, you know, to see what other, um, you know, abilities that these developers are trying to sort of, uh, you know, try to change or if they're, they're trying to sort of try different things. This is a really good way of doing it in a form of a different game. Oh, we've got a big fella here. Okay. What I might do is I might just head over here. I might craft. I need one more of those. Okay. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. I should find something over here. Because I don't have an axe anymore. Um, this guy has seen better days. Um, definitely. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I should. There should be something on the floor, surely. There should be a branch or two. Anyway, while we're up, we may as well loot as we sort of go along. Well, this Dead Man's event is actually a really good event. It's um, fairly easy to sort of conquer. And also, it gives you the ability to get some easy loot. So... If you guys ever see this event pop up please get onto it there will be something that i want to show you guys as well if you guys haven't seen it um, beforehand so i definitely want to show you guys before at the end of this video of course all right so let's just take you down uh no branches so far on the floor which is oh jesus okay the curse captain okay you can't kill this fella whatever you try and do you cannot kill this guy so you're going to have to leave and get yourself out of there not a fun time unfortunately but yeah there's only there's not much you can do with that there is a way to mitigate that if you have a torch which i don't think i have a torch in my inventory unfortunately to scare the fella away it'd be nice if i did i don't think i do i do not all right let's see what it takes to create a torch okay if i can if I spawn in a different area and if I find some, uh, what do you call it? I can't even, can't even think what, a, what that resource was. Anyway, I'll see, I'll know it when I see it. All right, all right, let's, let's run, 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 because he's gonna be on my tail, so. Okay, this thing here. All right, so Kane, of course. Can't even think of what I was gonna say. All right, and if I just so much create that torch and if he comes at me at least I can turn around and well oh, there's some bamboo I can flick it around and he will run away basically so he hasn't come through just yet but we'll see how this goes if he ends up doing that and realistically what I wanted to do was I wanted to find some more bamboo so at least that way I can make another spear for that goon that was the only reason why I was sort of running about trying to find um uh what do you call it some bamboo but anyway okay so back to what we were doing anyway before that fellow just rudely interrupted us so you have you have the captain that chases you yeah he's like the uh the wendigo from wasteland and naturally he will self-regenerate until you actually find I'm going to get the tomahawk here today. Actually, you know what? Mm, do I do that? Yeah, alright. We'll just we'll rock out with that for now. I probably shouldn't be using it for this type of event, but it is what it is. Here we go. This is what I wanted to find over here. So, yeah. You'll have other... Um, ooh, nice. Okay. Actually, I'll take that with me. I'll leave that there because I'll probably... Oh, you know what? Yes, absolutely. That can go. I'll take the shirt for now and sort of take it from there. Anyway, you'll have different style of hard enemies that will just come running across the mini map there. And, ooh, nice. Okay. Copper tools. I want to take that too. So, how will I end up doing this? Do that and probably take that. That'll work. We got the uh, the hold mate here. Nice tomahawk does pretty good. Oop. 
Okay. Okay, ooh, okay. He's actually... He's sort of quick enough before he hits you. But then again, he um, still has the ability to make a meal out of you because you're not obviously that quick. Not too bad. Anyway, probably won't need the spear at this point now. Just take that with me. Anyway, ooh, Jesus. Okay, so switch over to that and he runs away. There you go, and you can chase him right out the map if you really wanted to. Look at him go. Get out of here. Don't want your shenanigans. Alright. Yeah, I wonder how long it takes for him to come back. That'll be interesting. Even though that you've sort of, you know, warded him off, does he come back? Oh, I think i just seen him. Oh, 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 oh. I just answered my own question. What a sneaky little bugger. And here comes another goon out of nowhere. Where are you coming from? Where did you come from, buddy? Better heal up. And no my luck. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have the first captain come up come up uh, at me with this goon um, as I as I just said. Go away, buddy. Alright, well we've we've nearly taken out this goon. And see you later. Go away, buddy. Get out of here. But what if I just sort of... Oh, no, you know what? I can't. Can we? You can't really get rid of him. Effectively. You know what? Let's just get out of the map for a sec and just sort of um, just heal up, get ourselves reset, back and going again. Actually, very interesting. With that... Um, with that captain there. Alright. And the funny thing is, I am nearly leveling up. So I really don't want to put too much heals into me until we get, excuse me, that level up there. So let's just load back in and just be very careful, of course. Okay, here we go. So usually when you scare them away with the torch, they just run out and that's it, they're done. So kind of interesting the fact that they continue to come back. Don't get why they end up doing that. I don't know if it's a, a, a bug or a glitch or anything like that, but it's just interesting to know. At least you guys have actually seen them a few times in this video, which is good. But let us continue on and loot up everything that I was supposed to loot. So I think this here is... I want to take those shoes. Let's take all of that. Very good. And see what else is there. Now, you notice in the main chest that I got beforehand, I got um, a set of oars. Now, I've already got a set of oars for my, um, for my boat. And hopefully that will take me across and sailing to bigger adventures as soon. But... I do need the row locks. Now I've got one of them so far. I know this is the event for you to actually obtain all of the uh, the said row locks. You can get them through the daily rewards as well. So um, that's the message board. Actually, once I get into the over map, uh, sorry, the overworld, I will sort of show you guys exactly what I mean. But this is pretty much the dead man's um, event. Quite an easy event, and it's fairly easy you guys will be able to smash this out without any problems no issues on this end here I'm just sort of double checking to see if there's anything that I sort of miss I know I've dropped something or considered taking something where I didn't take anything so that's nearly dead that's nearly dead so we'll um, cycle those through and you do get your chance of clothing as you can see here so which is really really cool um, I always like to double triple check these things you know how it is always the way. Um, I, I'll probably take the sulfur with me just in case. Empty flask. I've got a few of, um, jugs at home so I'm not too worried about that. And there's nothing over here. And what do we have over here? Nothing. Okay cool. So I'm not gonna bother whatever it is over here. I don't know who you are actually. Well this fella's just gonna is that, a, is that a hold mate? It is a hold mate. Anyway, 
Not going to bother with you because we'll definitely leave this place and we'll move on to other things, I guess. But just want to make sure that I've done everything and that I haven't missed anything. Well, I've already got that, so I don't think I need any more, to be honest. He's still circling around. Shouldn't bother us anyway. Actually, ooh, I missed these. Oh, okay. Of course. Now, this has popped up a few times. I know the developers are aware of this bug here, so I am hopeful that this will um, be fixed in the next update. Now, just on that as well, there is a new update that I'm aware of that will be coming. It will be addressing a lot of bugs and things like that from the initial release of the game. Uh, one such issue that I've uh, encountered is my gamer tag has not actually changed to the tag that I wanted. And I've already raised that with them. They, they've already acknowledged that. So hopefully that should be resolved from what my understanding is that they've mentioned that it should be fixed uh, come the next update. But right now, uh, nothing has been sorted out with that. But that error that you've seen there, I have seen that um, pop up a few times, which is a little bit annoying. But again, this is the first release of a brand new game as it is. So uh, considering that and that alone, uh, that's probably the main one of the main issues that I've um, noticed and encountered as well. And aside from that, I haven't had too many other issues aside from the, the gamer tag as you've seen just there. Right, let's just sneak up on you, do a decent hit on you. Look at that, two hit. No problems with that. And let's open up this and see what we've got. I really want to get that pistol. I honestly really want to get that pistol. Oh, hey, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to have to do something here. Actually, that can go. Let's delete that. Hello, pistol. Drink that. Doesn't really matter, to be honest, which way I do it. And this is the last lootable uh, container here that I've got. And we can head out. Now, these things here, the earring part and the earring chain, you'll need those for the trials. Now, I'm not going to jump into the trials um, just yet. I do want to, um, again, level up and get a little bit further into the game until I sort of muck around with the trials, just so I can have a, a decent stab at it, I guess. But I do want to check this out. I'm not too sure what happens here. Let's have a look at the player's AI base. Don't think there's going to be much for us to do because I'm not actually equipped to do anything just yet. And I don't know if there's going to be any sort of timer for me to worry about. And if there is, well, we may have lost out on one AI base. But player 459's base, let's suss out and see what's about. I don't know if this place is hostile. It appears to be hostile because I do see a hostile individual there. And he moves around. Okay. Can I do a sneak? Ooh, Swift Jack. How about if I just come up behind you, buddy? Ooh, okay. He bolted. So that's a thing. Ooh. Cheeky little bugger, come back. Okay. He runs and he's gonna run back, okay. Oh, you cheeky little bugger. Die, thank you. Okay. And unfortunately, I can't required an axe okay so obviously you can raid which is kind of cool Um, I didn't actually expect to get in <laughs> into this today but while oh Jesus <laughs> buddy Oop. and I don't know if I'm gonna piss anyone off if I do well there goes the weapon but unfortunately right now I don't have you can't get anything here as you can see I've got in pretty rough shape at the moment, but can I get in here? Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, I can take a few things and I'll just drink up what you've got here. I'm required an axe. Ooh, well, all right. Let us, can I take, can I put stuff there? Oh, oh, okay. Right. 
So you can't drop things into these chests, but you can take. That is interesting. Well, right now, I really don't worry about the torch because the torch is a consumable and I should be right with without that because I've got a ton of these torches at home. Nothing in the small box. Okay. I don't know how much this takes on the on the copper axe, so I'm just being careful in terms of you know what I want to break down and things like that. But right now, it doesn't appear to be anything else. Can I hello? I cannot interact with that. Cannot interact with that. I can definitely interact with this. So let us break down and see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Well, that's fair enough. Let's see what's in here. No, nothing. Okay. Well, there you go. There's our first crack at it. Checking out an AI base today. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to take this. I need, oh, I want this. I need this. <laughs> what am I going to drop as a result? I have absolutely no idea because I'm fully healed, all that sort of good stuff. Oh, uh, what do I take away? I want to keep the, I want to keep everything, honestly. Oh, goodness me. Oh, Jesus. I don't value that as much as I value everything else. Because I want to keep the sulfur as well. I've got the gunpowder as well. Oh, my goodness. All right. A complete waste, but I just wanted the copper axe. Oh, sorry, pickaxe. Just so I can use that a lot more while I'm um, farming and things like that. But now it's going to be interesting to see what will happen when I leave. Absolutely. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So that is everything here. So this is one of the easier bases for you to tackle. Fortunately, I can't interact with anything else other than what I've just shown you guys here today. So a very, very simple base for that matter. Can't interact with that. So there's not much that you can do here. And this is pretty much exactly like your home base here, of course. So not much else for us to sort of look at here. But what we'll do is let's head out. I want to see. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I'll need any of that. So let's just leave that. I wish I had the backpack thing again because I would so buy that again. Uh, anyway, unfortunately, I lost my good backpack. That's the problem. If I had a good backpack, then I could take a lot more than what I've just done there. But anyway, it doesn't appear to be any sort of timer. So let's just drift back home because I'm not going to be able to go back quickly. No other timer has popped up. So it looks like it's just one of those raidable AI bases. So you know what? You're probably encouraged to raid those bases. If you really wanted to, you can try and chat and become allies and things like that because you can have a capacity up to two allies. I did take out his crew, so that's probably not a good start to that sort of um, friendship, but it is what it is and it's happened there. So anyway, all well and good. I considered going here, but yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to survive in there if I do head in. That's where I do really want to go in future um, videos as well. But you know what? I think it's a good time for us to go ahead and leave it here today. So as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video as you guys usually do. Be sure to like, comment, and if you guys are new to the channel, you've seen what you've liked, you want to see more. If you guys are interested in other survival games, I play in Westland Survival, another game made by the same developer as Mutiny, which is uh, Helio Games. So check both sides out. Anyway, take it easy guys, and as always, I will catch you next time.